So, coming to today's class. So, any idea regarding this present Israel war? All, each and everything you know. I'll ask some five questions. Just answer me. Then I'll know that you people are very aware of it. Can I ask? Huh? Fine. What is the origin of this Israel movement? So like Israel Palestine conflict. What is the origin? Origin? Homeland theory of Jews. Hmm? Homeland theory of Jews. Homeland theory of Jews. So like uh, what could be the origin? Like uh, in this A, D, B, C something will be there, right? Only the first world war. Only the first world war, fine. First, uh, first point. When this has originated. So, who are these Hamas? Second question. Huh? Who are these Hamas? Hmm? Only the Gaza Strip? Only the Gaza Strip. So, second question. Fine. Third question. Like uh, recently, you have seen, right? India, Eastern, Middle. Europe Economic Corridor. So, what is the port name in the Israel? Hmm? So, do you know any other uh, board like for example, if it is a Gaza Strip, so do you know what are its main points of exist, exits? So, the names, any idea? No idea. Fine. So, third, uh, fourth question is who are Hezbollah? Where? Huh? Is there any link between them? Hmm? Okay, like is there any link between Hamas and this Hezbollah? Okay, fine. So, like who funds Hamas? Who funds Hamas? Hmm? European Union is just a humanitarian that you have read the 600 million thing that is a humanitarian assistance. I am not, I am asking about the Hamas organization, not about this Palestine issue. Who, who are the countries uh, sponsoring them? Arab League hmm? Arab League members, yeah, not all Arab, Arab League members, yeah, Arab League members are one of the part, fine. So, these are uh, some questions, like what India has taken from this, what you can say from Israel, hmm? any idea, any name? Hmm? Pegasus is a spyware. We didn't took from them. I <laughs> will took from them as a spyware. Barak. Fine. Okay. So, what is the form of government in Israel? Any idea? What is the form of government in Israel? No idea. Huh? Parliamentary form of government. It's a democracy. Okay. So we'll talk about that also. So these are the things you people are lacking. Another thing is any connection. Why do you know do, 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 do you know this two state solution? Two state solution. Any idea? No idea. Hmm? It was, it was by UN. Okay, so what it is? The conflicted state of Israel and Palestine hmm. will be divided into three portions. Hmm. Hmm. 
So that is the 1948 plan. So later is two nation is just two nations. So only is Palestine and this is Jewish nation. Fine. Uh, and another question which left here is, what's the state of like uh, is India supporting to Israel or Palestine? Currently Israel. Obviously, it should be a balanced view. Good pet koli. Pray na sir, pray na sir. Mano, atellam, itellam. We are just lukewarm in nature. Okay. So we'll go uh, through this Israel issue. So I'm um, in this class. I'm going to address all these questions. Right. So you know something, but apart from this, know something extra from this class. So who don't know, just know it. So just uh, the origin starts from the Zionist movement. So if you start with the, the demand of this separate new uh, separate country for the Jews, has started not these times. It has started something around uh, during the time of ancient times. So there is a nation called Jewish nation. If you see the Bible, all these talks about they want a separate nation. Jews are the blessed one, so they uh, they rule the world. This is a kind of thing, according to the Bible. All those things you can see like later it grew on. Like uh, apart from this, there is an. If you see the Bible also, after the coming of the Christ, prior to the Christ, there is a demand of the Jewish nation. It still grew. Okay. So later it got started at the part of something around 1800s, 1880s, right? At the time of 1880s, there is a movement called Zionist movement, right? You have an idea? Zionist movement. So it is the origin, main one of the main origin for the Israel. Uh, they are they want a nation, right? So Zionist movement for a separate country for Jews at 1880s, but there is a large scale. Which area? Palestine area. So we just look over the map. So map is a very key for us to know. So is it visible during the time of 1970, First World War, right? So at this time, what has happened? Any idea? There are three agreements got signed. Got it? So it is all the game plan behind whom? British. No other, like if you see any world, any aspect, do you touch that? British is the one uh, thing which has played with their uh, intentions and emotions, right? So, 1970, this is the area we generally called as Palestinian area. So, later it grew on. So, at the point of this, when 1948, right? So, what happened? So, uh, uh, this, you are this UK is there, right? British. What they have done, he just decide on you. They left it. So I'll tell something briefly about these things. Just but but see here how this has, how these Israel people got dominated. So these blue parts are who Jews. So these are Arabs. These Palestinians. They generally got disintegrated. So this is the at present theme. I think so. So these are the places where you can see this. Who? This green, 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 you can see this Palestinian people. So obviously, what could be the origin of this uh, Israel-Palestinian conflict? What may be the main issue? Religion, right? Religion is the main issue, right? So Arab versus this Judaism, the two things which is the origin. So if you see, most of the things has happened here. So. Coming to here, during the World War One, three agreements got signed. What are these three agreements? Britain with whom? Arabs. Next one, Britain with Jews. Britain with France. They have this Britain got signed. Why? Because to capture it after World War One, if they if they become powerful, if they become uh, too strong, they will occupy these areas they will have a hold on these areas. So what Britain has done is, what Britain has promised to Arabs is, I will give something Palestinian nation, so which includes all these Arabs. What is the agreement name? McMahon Hussein correspond. Okay. Second one is, what Britain has promised to Jews? Jews as their own homeland, so Jewish homeland will be there. So which declaration has 
uh, as declared by this Britain. What is the declaration name? Balfour Declaration. So there is a secret treaty between whom? Britain and France. What is this treaty name? Sykes Picot Agreement. In this treaty, what they have done is, what Britain and uh, France has planned is, we will share both the territories, like half of the territories, like these, they have given to the Arab side, right? they have given to the Jews, right? What we will do is, we will share half both, 50-50 equal, but they don't tell to these people. Huh. After this uh, 1918, 1918 after this 19, during the time of same this Ottoman Empire, uh, fall is going to happen. So, in, in the same place in the India also this non aligned movement also started. Do you have an idea? 1920s, around 1920s there is a movement got started like uh, Gandhi has become a leader of this uh, Hindu Muslim unity. He has demanded we need a what you can say separate uh, like uh, he is going to support for that. If the, if you if, if we support to the Ottoman Empire they are Muslim Arab dominated right. So, in India also we can gather the Muslim crowd. In this way, Gandhi has supported it. It is a connection between that and this. But coming to here, no. So, is a whose brainchild this concept? Huh? British, right? This is the one thing. Second, I, I have also told, told in the previous class according to, uh, about this uh, Nagarno Karabakh incident. This is also the issue with the British, right? After this, uh, Soviet World War all this has uh, they got diverged. So, coming to here uh, 1940s around which time? 1940s. So, what is the time 1940s means? World War 2 right. So, at this time what is the nature of this uh, like uh, how the how the Jews are there? Huh? Holocaust right? They are facing the Holocaust in where? Germany. So, they, they are very insecure, they need some separate nation. So, they are demanding a separate nation, they have started in the same way the influx of that uh, people has migration has started from that area to this, they are, they are thinking this holy land, this Israel, Jerusalem where this Jerusalem resides. So, influx got started, at this time what has, what has came into the being? Palestinian national movement has arised at this point of time. So, at the point of time 1948, so prior to this around 1947, who has given a plan? UN has given a plan. So, what this plan has said? The resolution number is very, very important. What is the resolution number? 181. So, coming to here, for Arab state, how much? 45 percent. For Jewish, 55. And the Jerusalem should be internationally? control. This is everybody known fact. So, at this point of time, it has given this plan. At 1948, British has withdrew from all of its colonial territories. At this point, it did not uh, like, it would, it would not go into any internal issue. They have left this issue to themselves. Just decide what about you, yourself, you just fight with this. After this 1947, what has happened is, there is a war started. What is the war? 1948, Arab-Israel Arab war got started. So, who won in this war? Israel got won in this war. So, later due to the expansion of this Jews, there is an organization got formed. What is this organization? Palestine Liberation Organization. So, due to this, they got funds and support from these Arab nations and the bordering Arab nations. Who are the bordering Arab nations? If you see the Syria, Zodan and the scope of this uh, Lebanon, Iran and Afghanistan. Afghanistan is uh, one of the funder for this, uh, what you can say Hamas, do you know that? Afghanistan is one of the funder for this Hamas, this Taliban organization. right? So, this has gave its way, it has started its domain. So, later which has what is the war name 1967, 6 day war, very very important among who it got done? Israel, Egypt, Syria, Zodan. If you see the map, this is the Israel right. So, where is the Egypt? 
Syria, Jordan. So if you see here, he is the it, here it is the Gaza Strip, here it is the West Bank, here it is the Golan Heights, here it is the Sinai Peninsula. So here it is Sinai Peninsula, you know this Gaza Strip, West Bank and the Lebanon and this Golan Heights, right? Here it is Zodan. So West Bank is bordering with which nation? Zodan, right? Remember this is a prelims question. So where I have stopped. So what has happened at this point of 1967 war, 6-day war? Israel captured Gaza and Sinai. From whom? Egypt. West Bank from whom? Zodan. Golan from whom? So, Dhani Dharknan Dharanka, it has taken, right? So, it got powerful. Like, who may be the supporter of this Israel to get that much of support? Yes. Yes, right? During the time of which war is happening? Cold War. Right? There is a connection. World War 1, there is a connection. World War 2, there is a connection. Cold War also, there is a connection between these things. So, very, very, very important war that is called what? Yom Kippur War, 1973. So, we generally like uh, at present, uh, this war is called as something a replica of this 1973 Yom Kippur War. Same thing, 1970 is 50 years, 1973 to 2023, so 50 years, same the, the span also the same thing, October 12th or uh, 13th around, it was happened. Same thing, October 7th, right, it got started last war. So, same thing generally called as, so it is between whom? Israel versus Egypt and Syria. Here what was happened is, Egypt got back what? Sinai, but not Syria ki Golan Heights available. So, but what about the Gaza? Gaza only by, so at this point of time, Gaza got remained with whom? Israel. E point like Dame Jaisa Rikuda have seen here. Israel captured Gaza and Sinai. At the point of when? 1967. At 1973, what happened to this Gaza? Gaza is still there with whom? Israel. Israel. Right. So remember that point. At this time, after this 1973, right? Until this 1993, there is a growth of what? This Palestinian domination. Like they have tried to organize in around themselves. Got it? This Hamas people, this Hamas military organization, they have developed its own polity and military structure connecting with this Arab world. Because if you see the Gaza population, 80 to 90 percent are whom? Muslim. Got it? You have an idea? There are Christians also there, some other people also there, but mostly are. Because main theme they have the, the connection is what? Muslim Brotherhood. That is a main theme. But later what has happened? So there is a point here. Remember 19, what is the point here? 1993. Again remember a point called 1992. At this point what was happened to India? India, India, LPG reforms got started, right? In India, there is a reforms called LPG, liberalization, privatization and globalization. Trend has started. At this juncture only, PV Narasimha Rao has first made a diplomatic uh, ties with whom? Israel, right? At this point only, it, it got started. So, at this point, there are small, small uh, things has happened between this Israel and this Palestine Jews and this Palestinian people. So very important agreement or called as Oslo Accords between whom? Israel, USA and Yasin is, Yasin is the head of this Palestine, right. So recognize very, very the grave mistake what, what we have, what they have done is they recognized what? Palestinians. Same thing if you can compare with this at the time of 
what what is this non cooperation movement india's india's non cooperation movement what gandhi has done at this point what gandhi has recognized he recognized muslims he has given huge weightage to this muslims in his mind what he has thought so if you see after 1921 there is no hindu muslim unity till we got independence pakistan ochche daaka 1921 daaka hindu muslim unity ledu so ekkadaithe what is the main issue for the division over here hindu muslim unity world war 1 because of this fall in the ottoman empire a ottoman empire kaavadam kosam they need a ottoman empire some muslim head should be there for this who has supported to it who has supported for the religion cause gandhi has supported the religion cause so gandhi em anukunnadu ante if we support to them if we support to these muslims they will be with us so we will acquire uh, india as soon as possible independence will be get as soon as possible but it got in another dimension so again akade em ayyindante they got hurt muslims got hurt at this point of time so all this jinna all the division has started at this time only 1920s and 21s again one important which has uh, given that uh, huge uh, influx is 1919 government of india act right so don't go into that much deep but i'm just connecting the things both the things with the india and this at this point what has happened at that point at this point so here so what is the mistake so i'm talking about the mistake they have done a mistake gandhi same they has done a mistake here accepting the religious cause again they have accepted whom palestinians they have recognized who israel has recognized the palestinians are there right so next at west bank so according to this oslo accords what was happened at west bank three divisions are there what is this division a b and c so these divisions are it depends on first of full control by israel partial control by israel and what do you call this palestinians so control by palestinians this has given a chance to establish their own like dilemma uh, their own kind of nation they have, they want they want their nation to establish so obviously ikkada vaallu palestinian recognize chesaru meek chance ochindante obviously they'll try to overpower right this is the main the, uh, what you can say this is the which has turned negative this oslo accords remember this point so palestinian got administrative control of which area gaza this is the origin right so what has happened later pm got nobel prize there is a right wing extremist who shot down this pm can you relate this same thing in india the last point ekadaina link cheyagalara india lo mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi got assassinated by whom god say because of this religious cause only right you can link see, see i'm telling the links international and national links elage nadagochu question you don't know but think in those dimensions right similar unda leda got it so later uh, fine that's the main theme but you need to know who are this hamas they are who military terrorist the word is very very important political group military terrorist political group so how they are organized see here a polit bureau is there and a shura council very very important what is the council name shura council which undertakes about this military activities of this hamas right what is the council name shura council hamas also known as what harat al muka al islamic you can tell say this anybody know this one harat al muka al islamic islamic resistance movement formed by whom yasin in 19 67 it is which movement islamic resistance movement on whom jews right ultimately on the jews so later what was happened 1967 right just we'll just go back to the previous slide 
what happened at this point 1967 six day war among the israel egypt and syria jordan israel captured gaza and sinai from the egypt right so coming to here at the point of akkad appade kada there is an organization which got came into the being hamas so this is the origin so next one is there is just see this inti inti fara any idea sir uh, what you can say revolutionary thing organized by this hamas what is the year 1987 93 was the first popular uprising against israeli occupation of 1967 second word eppudu jarigindi something around 2000 right this is the reason inti ante there is an israeli candidate who is the elect of this uh, what you can say prime minister gocha candidate he went to that uh, temple or temple mount the temple name is what temple mount also known as what al haram al sharif it is a area which is uh, pro to both this jews and palestinians so what he said at this uh, at this uh, when he visited this temple mount he said that it is the birthland of jews we control this so it got hurt who got hurt muslim, muslim all this uh, again this hamas got retaliated so this is the one important thing. this there is the origin of this second intifada so later all small small things are there at the point of 2014 what was happened gaza has started a war so israel launched which which operation operation protective edge very important what is the operation name protective edge to counter the increase hamas rocket fire from the gaza so remember this point so nothing much just know about these things who are this hamas militant political group just know this name first intifada and second intifada so how they got funded who are the main funder qatar turkey iran and afghanistan also so very very important point you need to know what are the main reasons why this hamas got recent induku why they launched this strike what are the main reasons is these are the very main reasons of all the reasons these are the four main reasons one reason is what at the al aqsa mosque right al aqsa mosque lo israel has thrown away these people from outside uh, from uh, these palestinian outside this is the one first point and second point is if you see the paper like two to three is last uh, two to three is three to three days papers they have given a main mastermind uh, image like they have uh, given a mastermind image he is the one of the person who lost his family at this time of this al aqsa mask so he has seen everything like what's there how to counter this how to counter like without any technology they didn't use any technology right if you see the uh, the how they have started they didn't use much technology they didn't use the mobile phones also right any idea they didn't use mobile phones they didn't use any communication they didn't they gather among themselves they have planned like that because israel are very aware they are very pro in this defense system if you see the fencing all those things they are uh, what you can say, smart fencing they don't need any military ability also it's a weak thing so there's a pros and cons of this smart fencing if there is anybody over there they can halt it right so so it's a point of night right early morning chusaru kada they just came out from the they oka konta kalam munche they have done something underground to enter into they have came in a three ways underground by destroying this boundary iron fence and they have came through this paragliding motorized paragliding three types so israel didn't expect who is the mastermind behind this he is the one of the victim of this al aqsa mosque so first thing second point is this is the third holiest site after makka and medina in april 2023 attacks on palestinian people who were praying at the al aqsa mosque september 19 17 2023 israel settlers went into the mosque area to pray at the same time the security forces attacked the palestinian people this is the one of the factor second factor is very very important they are not happy with what west bank so israel is keep on occupying this west bank right so this is the one the one uh, second other reason third reason is what lack of unity in the 
Israel politics recently they have started something judicial reforms they want to change some kind of uh, judicial structure in their country this has given some negative like they are fighting in between political same thing in India for example between whom BJP and Congress something like this so if you see this BC cash reservation some has accepted they want some want what you can say uh, whole India cash reservation like BJP is saying that we are no need of it Congress is saying if we come into the power we will do it something like the internal thing is going on so they are more concentrating on those things internal political issues right so third point and fourth very important point is Saudi Israel reinforcement very very important it is the main main thing uh, so Saudi is the main there is an initiative called Arab peace initiative there is an initiative what is the initiative name Arab peace initiative who led it Saudi led it what Saudi has given a plan is you just give Palestinian territories to them you just put your Jews territories with you same thing which has given something in 1948 plan they have suggested something Saudi has suggested something so Saudi is very pro to this Palestinian people but the equation got changed recently if you see the picture Israel is getting reinforced with the Saudi and this UAE also so who are the supporters they are backstabbing these Palestinians right they they felt that they lost that support so they don't like this even our Muslim brotherhoods only not helping us they don't like it so these are all the one of the which has cooked the things same thing right uh, if you see what you can say you can compare with this our 1857 war India's 1857 war any idea India there is an India there is an 1857 war has happened Sepoy mutiny generally it is called as Sepoy mutiny so it got uh, reverberated by whom the Sepoys who is against to this uh, British at that time but there are some other reasons apart from that the main reason is what they want to remove this cartridge cartridge for so greased cartridge which was made of the pig so earlier there are he they has faced so many issues one is a religious issue one is a domination of this uh, what you can say um, jamindari issue so all got culminated and they got fought with this 1857 war same thing like that not only the one issue there are a lot of issues over here right remember this point so these are the four main reasons which drew them into the this kind of attack they know it right see obviously it's just a territory of wait i'll show them so just a territory of how much see the length and breadth 41 kilometer long and 12 kilometer wide this gaza strip right it's just a matter of 40 into 12 it is something like hyderabad itself i think so hyderabad is the same dimension i think so it is something around so it is over but if you see the population 20 lakh people live so that is the 365 per square kilometer if you see the delhi i think it is on 900 i think so in india delhi what is the population in a square kilometer something around 900 so that is the reason why we are unable to control the Delhi pollution, Delhi each and every aspect, right? So there are functional borders. These the, this point is very very important. See what are the borders here? There are the functional borders crossing between Gaza and outside world. What are the borders? Karem, Abu, Salem, and Erez crossing controlled by whom? Israel. So what is the border name? Karem, Abu, and Erez two points next one is rafa crossing border controlled by whom egypt so this is the rafa is the place so if you see here they have divided like this this gaza is divided like this Beit lahia gaza dairy bala khan yunis and rafa so here mostly if you see this gaza here the main this uh, Hamas got organized not of all these places they got mostly organized so 
some are very good if you see they don't want this also right if you see in any country there will be a good people also there right but israel trying to dominate each and everything but we don't know we don't want to go into that that matters but remember the points are important so what is the what are the borders of this gaza strip in southern there is egypt right side there is israel north israel left mediterranean just remember these points so this what these crossing points are important so what about the india view about this israel palestine the word is what trilemma it's not dilemma it's trilemma so what we need to do whether we need to support in israel or palestine so what ultimately they want what intimate uh, what ultimately india has supported is it's a two state two state solution why because there is an origin again here so at the time of when 1948 right 1947 itself we also got independence right at the same time only this un got gave the plan right అప్పుడు అది యుఎన్ ప్లాన్ ఇచ్చింది ఇప్పుడు మనం ప్లాన్ అట్ ద టైం మనం కూడా ఇండిపెండెన్స్ వచ్చింది సో ఏ పొజిషన్లో వీ గాట్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ ఎలాంటి పొజిషన్లో మనకి ఇండిపెండెంట్ సో వీ గాట్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద బ్లడ్ షెడ్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ వాట్ ఎన్ని రైట్స్ జరిగాయి నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ ఆగస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ అప్పుడు ఎన్ని రైట్స్ జరిగాయి ఎంతమంది చనిపోయారు దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద రీజన్ ద గాడ్స్ ఏ గాట్ kill this gandhi also so lot of events got happened at this time of 19th august august lot of bloodshed has happened so obviously muslim got shifted or some muslim who are pro like who are pro to our india they got settled so what gandhi has suggested to this nehru is about this two state solution is so gandhi has lived in the area right south africa all these areas like he has some idea so what he is saying is he is okay with the jewish cause jews need a separate nation but what he has uh, warned or something given suggestion is they are already faced what persecution at where germany again if they are if they are if they sent into a area which doesn't have any like uh, if they they need to set up at the apudu kapudu start cheyali కొత్తగా వెళ్ళి దీని టు స్టార్ట్ దేర్ లైఫ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ దిస్ పాలస్తీన్ ఏరియా ఇఫ్ అగైన్ దీస్ జ్యూస్ కేమ్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ దిస్ పాలస్తీన్ ఏరియా విచ్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ రైట్ ఈ పాలస్తీన్ ఏరియాకి వచ్చినప్పుడు అగైన్ దే గెట్ పర్సిక్యూటెడ్ విత్ దిస్ హూ ఆర్ దేర్ అరబ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ రైట్ అగైన్ దే విల్ ఫీల్ ఇన్ఫీరియర్ రైట్ సో అలాంటప్పుడు ఏం చెప్పారంటే గాంధీ హ్యాస్ సజెస్టెడ్ దట్ సపోర్ట్ ఫర్ ద బోత్ కాస్ టు ద టు హూమ్ టు ద నెహ్రూ మీరు అటు సపోర్ట్ చేయండి ఇటు సపోర్ట్ చేయండి డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ దెమ్ సేమ్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ సో ఎందుకంటే ఇఫ్ వీ సపోర్ట్ ద ఇజ్రాయల్ ముస్లిమ్స్ విచ్ హూ ఆర్ స్టేయింగ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా దే డోంట్ ట్రస్ట్ అస్ సో యు ఆర్ నాట్ సపోర్టింగ్ యు అప్పటికే అప్పటికి దెర్ ఈస్ అ లాట్ డివిజన్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియాలో క్రియేట్ అయింది సో ఇఫ్ యూ అగైన్ సపోర్ట్ టు దట్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ కాజ్ విచ్ ఈస్ అగైన్ ఎ రిలీజియస్ బేస్డ్ అరబ్స్ ఆర్ హూమ్ ముస్లిమ్స్ so if you support at that point what i need to do cheste emai dinka backer avutada leda so aa uddesham toti gandhi has suggested go for a two state solution so okay right so this is the main thing which has happened at this point of time so till 1992 what was happened after 1992 the equation got changed by after coming this who is this personality uh pv narsimha rao the equation got changed because after the 1992 the soviet union got disintegrated this cold war everything got uh, left away so they tried to establish a diplomatic relation again okay, 1993 accords got started everything is there so in the recent times what is the why india got tilted toward israel this is the main things you need to know ive ilantiye mains lo vache chance untadi ila nadu tarmata a equation so what are the main issue Palestinian very very important which India got hurt is Palestinian has offered support to whom Pakistan issue of Kashmir 
so they are supporting what internal issue right why you need to interfere in our internal issue so they got hurt is the one reason second one is defense we import a lot of defense like 40 to 50 percent i think from the israel we are the importer 40 to 50 percent of the imports of defense right third one is what same aspect of what terrorism right terrorism is gonna got connected with this pakistan again to this hamas ultimately they are terrorists we are against to this terrorism third point and the fourth point is what israel is trying to normalize relations with arabs saudi and uae so wall equation say mari pane why we need to go look after these things so ala unna sare but recently we are supporting we are in ikkan uh, two to three days back got okay we are okay to this Palestinian cause but we are supporting to this Israel two words so we are in a state of balanced we are not taking the anybody stance anyone stance so remember that point but we are in which position balanced position so in India there is an importance for it what are these importance I to you to any idea it is a grouping it is a regional grouping consist of whom India Israel, UAE, USA. USA. 2022 mains, the question has came on the paper. I to U2 grouping. It's there on the mains question. So next one, recent uh, India Middle East Economic Corridor. Recent one, right? So if this got uh, improved, like there is a port, right? Haifa port is there, right? Which is the location of that? Uh, is a is a location in the Israel, right? Is a one core port which connects these things. So, if the relation got stranded, if something got aggravated, it may get hurt, right? So, two th second. Next one is very, very important. Due to this, there is an increase in the crude oil prices. Recently, there is an increase, for example, it, that barrel is something around 83 dollars. It got increased something 90 or 91 dollars because of this conflict. Increasing the oil price. Ultimately, it will increase the inflation in the country and the fourth point is what recently in the upcoming in the this upcoming year what is going to happen elections so e time low oil prices kaani even raw materials get an issue or chima even imbalance there may be an issue with our election structure also right so these are the main things india need to look after india kishu on ekra so areas of engagement it's a very easy thing so first diplomatic, when it got accepted, recognition was accepted in when? 1950, but diplomatic ties when? 1992. So trade, trade between India and Israel risen from how much? 5 billion to how much? 7.5 billion until January. So pre-COVID and post-COVID varaku. Recent, 2023. With half of the bilateral trade being in very, very, very important point. What are these? diamonds india is the third largest trade partner in asia and seventh globally israeli companies have invested in india particularly in the energy renewable energy all those things they got invested so defense see here india is a major importer of defense weapons from israel according for how much 40 percent of its annual arm exports whom expo whose exports Israel. israel's exports the Indians armed forces utilize a variety of Israel weapon systems like very very important Falcon. This is what airborne warning and control system. What is the name? Falcon. Next one is Heron drones. Next one Searcher 2 and Harp Harrow drones to Barak anti-missile. So what is the name? Barak. So, their anti-missile, what is the name of it? Iron, Iron Dome. We have added it. Same thing we got the frame. Iron Dome, something like this Barak anti-missile. It's a shorter version of it. What is this? Do you know anti-missile anti defense system? Do you have an idea? Idea on the? Identify. And Spider Quick Reaction Anti-Aircraft Missile System. Okay, remember the E points are important. And these technologies are very important. 
So India Israel Industrial R and D Innovation Fund. There is a fund called what? India Israel Industrial R and D Fund has expanded to include renewable energy and ICT with increased participation from academic and business. The fund promotes joint. So nothing much here. Next, coming to this agriculture. So you heard a word of kibbutz, right? In recent news, kibbutz. Huh? Kibbutz is an area in Israel where they have grown like horticulture crops with limited amount of water. Very, very limited amount of water. So that technology we India got taken uh, in using some of the regions in India, Maharashtra maybe, mostly the Maharashtra area, Maharashtra and the Madhya Pradesh area. We are using this kibbutz type of like the, it, it got success in that area very limited ok just see kibbutz is the area in the Israel where they grows for example right so same thing uh, Israel provided India with expertise technology in horticulture including the mechanization protected cultivation orchard this kibbutz also this protected cultivation there will be in, just go home and see there is a picture you can see closed chambers lo grow chasta on to reduce that uh, evaporation right so orchard and canopy management, nursery management, micro irrigation, post harvest management, especially Haryana and Maharashtra. Drip irrigation technology from Israel also commonly used in each other. It is based on this kibbutz only, drip irrigation. So next one is Indian community, very, very important point is this one. Bene Manashe. These are who? Jews in India. Who are they? Jews in India, it's at what location they are staying? Northeastern state, mainly Manipur, right? Who are the Jewish origin staying in India? Bene, Manashe and other people also there. Bene, Israelis and Bene, other one is Baghdadis. Right? Remember this point. As a good pet could name also the Bene Ilanti point rangal Israel original good pet is condi. Balak talk either could on to the Israel is whatever it may be. Just remember the name under its mnemonic or a good to good to pet is condante. Idi Chodangale, they belong to this Jews. That's it. So now very, very important thing which is a trend for UPSC. So trending, trend and Japan coach. the news law on they'll pick one of the country, they'll compare those constitution with that country. Last week also I have tried to compare with what is that country? Canada. Canada. Ah, Canada, yeah, fine. So it is mostly similar to India. This government is mostly similar to India, but some changes are there. One is secularism perspective, other one is unicamularism. They are unicamular, not bicamular like ours. We have Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, they do not have Rajya Sabha, there is a Kessner or Cancer, some, some, what you can say, uh, Neset. So, next one, their election process, their election process what? Proportional representation by single transferable vote, ours is what? First past post system. I will send this PDF. So, type of the government, both have which government? Parliamentary democracy with multi party head of the state president same thing prime minister manakala under walakur they they have the same thing so next one bicameral legislature israel has unicameral what is the name knesset india has you know it right election system israel has proportional representation india has first past post cabinet structure both are almost similar so next one, federal structure. Israel is a unitary state, very, very important. Which state? With no federal structure, while India is united, quasi-federal in nature. Next one is election terms. Knesset members are the term for how many years? India has 5 years. Next one, secularism. Israel is a Jewish state and it does not have a formal separation of religion and state. Remember, very, very important. Israel is a what state? It itself declaring it is a Jewish state, but India is not like that, right? 
So, India is a secular state without no official state religion. Next one, the constitution. Israel have a constitution? Munda does not have a single written constitution but relies on a set of basic laws. Something same like UK. So, territorial dispute. Israel has same ongoing dispute with this neighboring nations. We also having the same thing, right? China, Pakistan. Hmm. We have a con constitution and TNT. We have a book. We generally deal with it. Every country, for UK Accord, constitution lack like sir, they have a set of these things on time matter. Hmm. So we cannot name it as an unwritten constitution code honor to in some cases, but written constitution at India. Remember that point. Okay, point of view lo, if that question comes. Uh, unwritten unnachu ante unnatte but generally alayam adagadu they have like this so comparison okay unwritten ante correct avutadi israel has so fine we we'll just go through the map so very very important map is important for this time i don't know like whether they last in, in, in so many dimensions i have covered in in this uh, lecture so we don't know we also need to touch with this map elements also so west bank borders with west bank borders with which jordan first first question west bank next one is golan heights borders with whom syria and Lebanon. Second question. Next one. Here it is the port. What is the port name? Haifa port. Where it is? Israel. And third question is where is this? Yeah. Dead Sea. Borders. Which of the following countries? What are the countries? Israel and Jordan. This is the third question. And the fourth question is Lake Tiberia. It is what? Lake Tiberia. It is where? Egypt or some where? Where is Egypt? Londa, Jordan? Londa, Lebanon? Londa, Syria? Londa. Where it is? In Israel. Okay. This is the fourth question. Next one is remember the names of this one Khan, Yunis, Rafa, Gaza, Ashkelon, Ashdod. Tell Aviv you know it, right? Capital. So, West Bank is here. Uh, that's it. And uh, so, here there is a gulf called what? Gulf of Akaba. What is the Gulf name? Gulf of Akaba. Gulf of Akaba touches which of the following countries? Egypt, Israel, Zodan. Got it? I think, uh, yeah. These things. Negev is a desert. Remember, we don't know like Ilanti Enna and Adagachu, we don't know, but remember Sinai Peninsula belongs to whom? Egypt. Ilanti questions, Ekkanunch, Ekkad and Adagachu. Twenty twenty three mains GS two question twenty twenty three 
మొన్న రాసిన మెయిన్స్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇది వాట్ ఇస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ కంపేర్ అండ్ కాంట్రాస్ట్ బ్రిటిష్ అండ్ ఇండియన్ అప్రోచెస్ టు పార్లమెంటరీ సావర్నిటీ వాడు ఎలాగైనా అడగచ్చు దే వాంట్ టు కంపేర్ విత్ ద పొలిటికల్ స్ట్రక్చర్ జిఎస్ టూ క్వశ్చన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ సీ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ ఈస్ వీ హ్యావ్ కవర్డ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు వరల్డ్ హిస్టరీ కవర్ చేసామా సో వీ హ్యావ్ కవర్డ్ ఐఆర్ వీ హ్యావ్ కవర్డ్ పాలిటీ వీ హ్యావ్ కవర్డ్ మ్యాప్ బేస్డ్ దట్ ఈస్ జియోగ్రఫీ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ థింగ్ గాట్ కవర్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఏ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ప్రిలిమ్స్ క్వశ్చన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ ప్రిలిమ్స్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ హియర్ ఇస్ ఇజ్రాయల్ హ్యాస్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ డిప్లొమాటిక్ రిలేషన్ విత్ సమ్ అరబ్ స్టేట్స్ ఇస్ ఇట్ కరెక్ట్ ఆర్ రాంగ్ ఎస్ ద అరబ్ పీస్ ఇనిషియేటివ్ మీడియేటెడ్ బై సౌదీ అరేబియా వాజ్ సైన్డ్ బై ఇజ్రాయల్ అండ్ అరబ్ లీగ్ రైట్ సైన్ చేస్తే ఈ బాధ ఎంత ఎందుకు దట్స్ వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సే వై సైన్ చేసినట్టు వీ డోంట్ ఇష్యూ ఏం లేదు సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఆన్సర్ స్టేట్మెంట్ వన్ ఈస్ కరెక్ట్ అండ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ టూ ఈస్ ఇన్కరెక్ట్ వీ డోంట్ నో సమ్ టైమ్స్ వాట్ యూపీఎస్సి విల్ డూ ఈస్ ఇట్ జనరల్లీ హ్యాపెన్స్ ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ నుంచి దే విల్ పిక్ సమ్ టాపిక్స్ and they will repeat in the next year prelims so what you need to know is just go home just know about this arab peace initiative and next one is what arab league make notes of this these two things what are the two things and the arab league deen lo nunchi pick chesi they will frame a question we don't know because it is there in the news right got it so coming to the practice questions practice mains questions compare and contrast israel and indian government structure will you able to do this one huh you are able to do this one so next one in the world of geopolitics the world of geopolitics does not run on emotions rather than needs of the people in light of this statement as india is a supporter to two state solution is now tilting to israel comment what you will answer here huh what is the answer to this one the what is the body of this answer tell me the points which we already discussed right what are the points you need to mention in this answer so just tell me the body of points just five points four points up and aim aim important points only what are the areas we need to look over it first one palestine is supporting whom pakistan terrorism, terrorism. the first point second one is what growing of our defense ties third one is what huh agriculture, agriculture. fourth one is yeah similar government somehow yeah next one trade yeah trade yeah trade can be like anything whether it is defense whether it is diamonds whatever the thing just put it in that category so next one is what hmm hmm so terrorism yeah you can put the kind of terrorism so these are the points right but ultimately what could be the conclusion what could be the conclusion of this second question what you need to write again i have told you right balanced even though india is getting all those things but it never raised its voice against the palestinians it is still a concern for the palestinian cause not for this not for this outrageous issues terrorist issues like hamas that should be your conclusion ardham ainda 
ఎప్పుడు ఒక సైడ్ తీసుకోకండి ఇంటర్నేషనల్ రిలేషన్స్లో క్వశ్చన్స్ కన్క్లూజన్ రాసేటప్పుడు అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ పాకిస్తాన్ ఇష్యూ కాకుండా ఇంకా ఏది వచ్చిన చైనా అండ్ పాకిస్తాన్ ఇష్యూ చైనాకు కూడా న్యూట్రల్ రాయచ్చు పాకిస్తాన్ ఇష్యూ కాకుండా మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద థింగ్స్ యూ నీ టు రైట్ ఇన్ అ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ వే సో వీ ఆర్ ఇన్ అ పాలసీ ఆఫ్ నాన్ అలైన్ మూమెంట్ స్టిల్ వీ కంటిన్యూ దట్ పాలసీ నాన్ అలైన్ అనే థీమ్తోనే ఉంటాం రైట్ రిమెంబర్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద పాయింట్స్ ఇలాంటి క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రేమ్ చేసే ఛాన్సెస్ ఉంటాయి మెయిన్స్లో టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్స్ ప్రాక్టీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ వచ్చాయి జస్ట్ గో హోమ్ అండ్ ట్రై ఇట్ దట్స్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు సే సో ఫిలిమ్స్ ప్రాక్టీస్ క్వశ్చన్ బాల్ఫోర్ డిక్లరేషన్ ఈజ్ రీసెంట్ ఈజ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు విచ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఇట్స్ అ డిక్లరేషన్ రీసెంట్లీ సైన్డ్ ఇన్ జీ ట్వంటీ సమ్మిట్ మోస్ట్ కన్విన్సింగ్ ఉందా లేదా ఇది ఒక పాయింట్ చెప్పండి ఇది కన్విన్సింగ్ ఉందా లేదా If you don't know this Balfour Declaration, convincing is not there. It is not there. It is not there. You just fall into the trap. Second one is what? It is a declaration to reduce GHG emissions. It is a declaration to end Russia-Ukraine war. This is a second one. It is convincing. Huh? Third one? Fourth one? Obviously, it is right. But you don't know it. If you know it, yeah, it's right. It's a declaration where British promised a new state to Jews. Got it? Any doubts in this Israel thing? So there are a lot of things you need to discuss, but I found these are useful. If I want to take something, our shower shit together, but I try to wrap it up as soon as possible. So next, can I revise the topic or else? No need? Huh? I'll try to wrap it. So next one, Blue Water Behemoth. The word is what? USSR, Gerald R. Fort. Gerald R. Fort. It is what? Aircraft Carrier. Remember, what is the name of it? Aircraft Carrier. It was given in somebody, I have asked in the previous years. This has picked from the Indian Express. right so no need of gathering this data but remember which country has this aircraft carriers names are important last year also they have asked last year previous year they have asked about the i think this uh, navigation system i think japan is the answer for it so same thing we don't know they may ask the previous year also there is a question on this i'll talk about it so aircraft carriers of other navies china is what lioning russia admiral kuznetsov kuznetsov uk is queen elizabeth india ins very important france charles d gaulle very very important so this is a 2018 prelims question so what is the question 2008 so 2008 prelims question what is terminal high altitude area defense sometimes seen in news an israeli radar system and india's indigenous anti missile program an american anti missile system a defense collaboration between japan and south korea the answer is what an american anti missile system same thing russia has that is called s 400 got it so anduku ee time lo adi jarigind anamata aa time news entante india ee s 400 missile adopt cheskuna time anamata adi aa time lo they have alighted word question ila s 400 ivakunda alternate ga ichadu it was there in the news at that point of time so coming to this same here iron dome recently seen in news and usa radar system is it right i have framed these questions india's indigenous anti satellite program any idea india's anti india's indigenous anti satellite program ha huh? ha huh? mission shakti that one is same thing astro satellite program but it is a mission shakti generally it is called as 
an Israeli anti-missile system, a defense co collaboration between India and sorry, India and USA. So, what is the answer? An Israeli anti-missile system, right? So, next one, aircraft carrier in the country, Lyoning, Japan. What is the country name? So, first one is INS Vikrant. Huh? Is it correct? Vikram Aditya Mandi. Vikrant Mari? Vikrant present 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 Vikrant so, what could be the answer? Does it commission? Commission I put this con rande. Ante news lay the nasa allowant the ante. Apur adi when it is got commissioned into the waters, then you need to take it. Put ide point kanaka exam raja time, it got commissioned into the waters, then you can take it. You know, INS Virat? There is an INS. Dani steel is the one that Kari Ginchi Bajaj has taken. Bajaj has taken and it got, got developed a vehicle. The vehicle name is just V. Any idea? Choose a reprena. Bajaj V and Untadi. INS is Kuna steel near the Kari Ginchi. They have made that as a proud of Indian, Indian indigenous made. Any. What is the answer? Which one? Which one correct? Anna? Came into the trials, sir. Huh? So, what is the answer? All right. So, what is the answer? 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 What is the But, Vikram Aditya is confused. Also. So, Vikram and Vikram Aditya Kada Anukoni, most of the people will try to put it as a wrong. But, recent game on the Vikram trial run at the Kada. Commission is okay, but you have an idea. But news lawyer like choose na puru. So, in the confusion, what I mean, just now, reason of confusion. In news lawyer like choose na puru. We generally see this up to here. This e extent work choose tamu. INS Vikram Aditya. We don't go INS Vikram. Then doctor under man chodan gada. That's what my intention is. Just cross check chase kona just na. Got it? But remember, Iran de question sasse. Same thing, so, so very contentious issue which is going in the news. Any idea? Anyone of know this? Huh? There is a woman, she want to get aborted. She is just, she 26 weeks of pregnancy. In India, it is allowed up to 24 weeks that Twenty-four weeks. In some of the cases, not all cases, but in this case, in the twenty-six weeks, she is a good person. She don't have any ailments. First point, and second point is the baby is also growing fine. But what her intention is, I don't need this baby because my condition is not good. I am unable to rear a child because she already has a two children. This could be a landmark judgment of virtue. It is going in the process. But at least no aware of these things. So, Ilantive Chala judgment Sochi, they have changed that long. For example, right to privacy in the Puttuswami case, it got came into the being. So, these are the things right to pregnancy, like right to leave. So, again, there is a point of what you can say. Ikada Chala articles conflict out there. When judgment going to happen, there are a lot of articles get got conflict over here. First one is what? Article 21. What is this? Right to 
life so in here in this right to life what is the right to life whether you need to focus on the child that the baby life or this mother life here we issue unta leda a life ni protect cheyal ultimate ka no idea so they are also in that dilemma so they have sent that ultimately what like uh, some judge by two judge or three judge bend has uh, they have prepared something they have submitted it to the cja for his uh, for her final thing so what they have submitted is ultimately you need to support this women's cause not about this child's cause but ikkada medical issues there are four medical issues you need to know like which which is there or here like the issues what going over here is so baby is which condition stable condition so e stable condition lo unnapudu when to perform this feticide means what champaitam that baby that heart should be stopped so we see this article it's her decision versus can stop her heartbeat whose heart be the baby's heartbeat so generally this feticide when it will do generally before the termination termination chese mundu they will stop this baby's uh, what you can say heartbeat how they will stop any idea there is a saline injection will be there they will blow that saline injection into the um, what you can say baby's body the baby got died it is when generally before termination ikkada point enti ante generally before termination but at at a cases lo chestam idi 24 weeks mundu kaani if that baby is not in a good shape or something physically or mentally ill unna case lo chestaru but not at this point right so there is an issue over here so these are the uh, things they are looking over second one is what if born pre preterm has a huge complications burden to the parents ante ee 26 weeks lo nunchi bayate theesesthe the baby develop avadan it will take time right lot of things the, it's there so for example if the came out it would be put in the intensive care unit for some more months right so this is the one issue next one is what previous two or two c sections intak mundu jarigina two surgeries kuda c section e you know c section leda eleda cesarean operation antaru cut chesi pillan bayata isthar kada generally normal delivery c section ante cut chesi istham kinda ila c shape la ila cut chesi ila you know it ఖాళీ ఉన్నప్పుడు యూట్యూబ్లో వీడియో చూడండి బాగుంటుంది లేదే తెలుసుకోవాలి తప్పేముంది దానిలో అలాంటి ట్రై చేయకండి సినిమాల్లో చూపించినట్టు కార్లో అలాంటి ట్రై చేయకండి ఇప్పుడు ఇద్దరికీ హామ్ అవుతుంది సో ఈ టూ సెక్షన్ అవటం వల్ల ఈ కాంప్లికేషన్ అనేది ఈ టైంలో ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ వీక్స్ అప్పుడు బయటకు తీసుకొచ్చేస్తే దేర్ విల్ బీ కాంప్లికేషన్ టు ద మదర్ ఆల్సో అనేది ఒక ఇష్యూ నడుస్తుంది ఫోర్త్ ఇష్యూ వాస్ అంబిగ్యూస్ అబౌట్ ట్వంటీ వీక్స్ ఆ ట్వంటీ వన్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ వీక్స్ ఇప్పుడు ఏ కిందకు తీసుకోవాలి దాన్ని ఒకవేళ ఇప్పుడు బయటకు తీసుకొస్తే ఇంకొక ఇష్యూ కూడా ఉంది ఆ ఇష్యూ ఈజ్ వాట్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ అడాప్షన్ అంటే ఇఫ్ దిస్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ ఇప్పుడు ఈ బేబీ ప్రీమెచ్యూర్గా తీసుకుంటే హిస్ మదర్ ఈస్ నాట్ యాక్సెప్టింగ్ అల్టిమేట్లీ సమ్ బడీ షుడ్ అడాప్ట్ రైట్ వెదర్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి ఎ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆర్ ఎన్జిఓ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ ఎవరో ఒకరు అడాప్ట్ ప్రీమెచ్యూర్ బేబీ అడాప్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి కదా సో అలాంటి అడాప్షన్లో మన దగ్గర ఇప్పుడు దాకా లేదు దానికి సంబంధించి సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ద ఇష్యూస్ బిహైండ్ దిస్ గాట్ ఇట్ సో జస్ట్ నో అబౌట్ దిస్ వీ డోంట్ నో వెన్ దిస్ జడ్జ్మెంట్ విల్ కమ్ బట్ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ సంథింగ్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇలానే కేసెస్ మనం డిసైడ్ చేయాలి ఎందుకు ఇది ఎందుకు తీసుకున్నానంటే ఇట్ విల్ బీ యూ ఇట్ విల్ బీ అ లైక్ బ్రెయిన్ స్ట్రామ్ ఇన్ ద ఎథిక్స్ పేపర్ ఈ ఎథిక్స్ అనే దానిలో ఐ హ్యావ్ పిక్ దిస్ ఆర్టికల్ not from the gs point of view lo nenu teesukoledi article ni ethics lo kuda ilanti vaste anamata ethical dilemma this is an ethical dilemma na kada whether to uh, baby birth ivvala lekapothe mother birth ivvala so okka vela ee judgment vaste you can use this judgment an example in that case study got it ethical dimension lo che questions ivanni so that's why but uh, apart from this in india there is an act called what MTP Act, Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act, 
right earlier it is in 1971 2021 it got revamped and changed with some of the amendments so we'll just we just going to see all those things so prior to this some introduction in india 7 million abortions are taking place annually how many 7 million about how much 50% of the total abortions are india are consider illegal ante how many nearly 3.5 million are illegal how this illegal happen illegal ela jarugutay Paisa is there. So, you know this thing, right? Uh, there is a ban of this scans. You should not uh, disclose who is the gender. You know it, right? So, when I was also talking earlier, um, because of lack of awareness, when you are also discussing about these rare diseases also, I have told you, uh, family need to consult to do, if they have a family history of some rare genetic disease, they need to take the pedigree analysis. So, we are not practicing all those things. So, way forward thing I am going to say, but we are not going all those things, but right. So, how many, nearly half of the illegal. So, first important thing, we will discuss all those things, remember, remember, remove this. Article 21, a woman's right to be rep, uh, reproductive freedom is an integral component of our freedom in the country you could e point tone they have selected it and they have a uh, case cj the form is in the country baby king the right rally she has not came out of the womb she didn't has she she doesn't has become a citizen of india so alanti case they have compared with something for you know ivf in vitro fertilization uh, in vitro fertilization lo lot of babies chani pota untaru entho man chani pota untaru ala chesi for example oka 5 tayar chese 5 lo oka lavachu le 5 destroy avachu ala chesina process lo so alanti vaati fundamental right ivvatledu kada so they are comparing those things ala jarugutunna appudu kuda ala jarugutundi kada so baby inka bayate raaledu she did has seen not the outer world so already oka woman undi she has already acquired this right bayatiki vachindi kabatti so that's why they supporting to this one Got it? So, next one is what? So, about this medical termination of pregnancy act contains clause that protects the woman's right to privacy when seeking an abortion. Section 5A permits registered medical practitioner professional to only disclose. So, what ultimately they are going to say is MTP act has a provision of what? Right to privacy. That is it. Remember this point. Just we will discuss, we will see about this uh, MTP. Uh, 1971 and 9, 2021. So, medical practitioner requires one doctor opinion if the termination is within how much? 12 weeks of conception, two doctors for 20 weeks. Earlier it is what is the limit? Earlier the maximum limit is up to 20 weeks. Now it is 24 weeks. So, 2021, one doctor opinion up to 20 weeks, two for 20 to 24 weeks weeks medical board permission for beyond so ikkada scope code undi kada so this medical board also will be a part of this case kada right the next one is gestation limit 20 weeks for all so 20 to 24 weeks for vulnerable people example rape victims so they have categorized who are the 24 victims ever 24 can take who are those rape victims beyond 24 for substantial fetal abnormalities privacy not mentioned privacy has mentioned in this case these three are very important means the question code Raj. compare and contrast with the 1971 1920 1971 mtp and 2021 mtp so what are the issues and we will just see the issues so this is the 2021 key provisions termination due to the failure of contraceptive method or device so, another important thing in this one is, there is also protection for whom? Unmarried women. So, it has granted what? Living relations, right? The unmarried woman can be a part of this living relationships, right? 
So earlier it's not there. After this 2021, it got into the being. In the claim. Upper gestation limit for special categories. We have already just see these categories are very, very important. Right? So confidentiality, right to privacy. So very, very important. Issues. What are the issues in this MTP Act? Upper gestational limit, it should be extended further in case of severe fetal abnormalities or risk to the mother health. So generally 24 weeks are not due. Next one is what? Beyond 24, medical board is covali are not due. Ah beyond that is ANT, and that is what? Silence. Unnar, e act means. So that is the first point. Next one is what? Provider shortage, very, very, very important. Doctor ratio, population level, if you say doctor patient ratio. In India is something, any, any, any idea? 1 is to, I think, 1800, I think so. It is something around India's doctor and uh, patient ratio. Generally, according to the WHO ratio, it is 1 is to 1000. WHO ratio, 1 is to 1000 is the limit, but uh, India is something around 1 is to 1800, 1756 or 1758 only, but you can round it off for 1800. But in that, in the but there is a requirement of whom? This uh, gynecologist, right? Huh? Yeah, obstetricians, pediatricians, this gynecologist, all those people, they required, right? So there is a shortage. So if you see the urban picture, it is fine. What about the rural picture? Shortage over there, right? So second picture. Next one is what? Stigmatization and the social norms. You heard, right? Sun meta preference. Any idea? The word is what? Sun meta preference. Abba yachada kanta ne under. So we have stopped. Yeah. This is the one thing. What is this? Sun meta preference. Informed consent. Relevant for minors or those with limited decision making capacity. So obviously, right? Minors ki gorad varthi sthadi gada. Minors also able to, they do this pregnancy, like abortion chase coach gada. They don't, they generally buy par tar gada. It is happening, right? Not on urban knowledge in China, rural knowledge in China. That's what I'm going to say. So next one is access to safe services. Next one is abortion of female fetus, a sex selective abortion. This is a main thing. If you see the Delhi, all those areas, there are huge sex selective abortions. Why? Because due to the increase in what? Huh? Technology and awareness. Obviously, right. When you came bite scan center, Kaltaru, if you give them 1000 or 2000 extra, they will reveal the gender, right? Chestara Jaira. It's happening. Avunana Kadana, it's Jerike Dagada. So, awareness and education. Illiterate versus literate. Your echo about Chess Kuntaranta, a point of contact, literate echo about Chess Kuntaranta. According to the recent survey. Why? Because they are awareness, they are aware of it. Amma Yuddhan, for example, husband is there, he wants a man, male child. Obviously, surgery health, they will check with those things, scan the each kunter, if not, they will cut on that baby. It's practically happening. Making cooker tells the countries, India, Kochi, Chaich Kunaltar. Like only countries in India, India is you know it. Medical bill is very low India when compared to the other countries. So next one is what judicial review. Same thing related with to this case. Twenty six weeks pregnancy lo hundi. If one week pote a fetal abnormal inka aota dikada. It's delaying that case, right? So one issue. Next one is what? Across vulnerable population for affordability and their transportation. These are the main issues. One is what? Gestation limit, provider shortage, stigmatization, next one, informed consent, safe services, female fetuses, judicial review, 
illiterate versus literacy vulnerable studies for transferability and transportation and affordability so other issue is what adult literacy program she got died recently there is a scheme in kerala so what's the scheme name is akshara laksham project what is the scheme name akshara laksham project for what adult literacy program so india having something around 75% of this literacy rate if you see the picture india has a something in 75% of this literacy rate so due to this on growing demographic dividend tell some make demographic dividend and recently there is a trend who has a bracket of 15 to 69 right enduku ee madhya trend start ayindani demographic dividend valle we need and what adult education why because these demographic dividend will consist of the population of 15 to 59 these can be considered as adults right to reap the demographic dividend we need an adult education right why what's the reason what's the reason and adult education cheste so basic education cheste what you will expect from them we yeah, have awareness fine just tell me the four to five points awareness what kind of awareness you will get that adult just tell me one example hmm? yeah skill development okay literacy based on the literacy education based chesko cheppandi if he is able to read and write then skill development can be without uh, education also read and write also if you have that read and write skill what you can develop Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. So, basic thing you need to know why they are focusing here is in future there may be a again it's a trend already but inka ekko avat chemo that's called as money lending. You know money lending? Money lending leads to debt trap. You know it, right? Ilaga chala mandi got ah ah adhano padi pay onar. if they have some literacy they are able to get out the debt trap right vaddi chakravaddi they, they don't uh, know all those things right if you see that vedam movie anybody have seen that movie vedam is a movie vedam only right just huh has computer yeah he just count it if he knows that count he may have got out from that right so one issue you may get caught out from this money lending issue all those so that's the reason why rural lo kuda when i've tagged this uh, previous year lab migration also migration issue mana maatlena appudu kuda this is the one of the issue right so next one is what they will be in this world they will be what financial literacy osadi which literacy financial literacy osadha rada ante enta save cheyali enta aapu koli podupu enta you need to you will come to know all those things and next they'll have a knowing of this health and nutrition dimension to rear their children pudu when you want to teach your son and daughter so basic process that is called socialization antaru telsa earlier process intlo nerpichedu amma na nerpistharu generally you people also get uh, some of you have learned by your mothers only right a b c d all those things i don't know right some of you people have learned from them right but if not you just go to the school and have learned so mostly if you have learned who have learned at the home stage they are more stable according to the surveys so this is the one of the aim so demographic dividend is 15 to 1600 next generation should be aware of these things so digital world so they need to have some kind of these things these are the some issues but you need to focus all those things but earlier there is a scheme now it got revamped into where is the scheme name i didn't mention this national (laughs) 
New India Literacy Program. Earlier it is called as Sakshar Bharat Abhiyan. It is, it is not Sarva Siksha, it is Sakshar Bharat Abhiyan. Earlier it is. Now it got, what is the name of it? New India Literacy Program. It is focusing on for whom? Adult education. So it has a theme of what? Education for all rather than adult education. The image is shift in that matter. So it is in line with what? National Education Policy 2020. What are its objectives? Promoting literacy among the non-literates in the age group of 15 and above. It means it we statement alert which says that new what you new India literacy program will support the cause of demographic dividend. Is it correct or not? The bracket of demographic dividend. And a 15 and mansion check point is a demographic dividend bracket. They will change in that way. And direct up in that way. Next one is what? Coverage. Covering of 5 crore non literates during the implementation. What is the implementation period? 2022 23 to 2026 to 27. This 5 year period. Very important. So, next one the scheme includes 5 components. What are the components? Foundational literacy and numeracy. These are all basic things. A, B, C, D, S, I, E, all those things. And with this numeracy, plus subtractions, minus divisions, all those things. Next one is critical life skills. Next one, occasional skill development. Next one, basic education. Next one, continuing education. If they are okay with it, they can continue and pursue it. Right. So, these are the five core areas. Next one, silent features of this NILP. Involvement of school students, pre-service students of higher education institutions, teachers, Anganwadi and the ASHA workers. School to be the unit of implementation. What is this unit of implementation? School. Use of ICT and online implementation of the scheme through online. It's very, very important. This point is important. OT LAS. What is this OT LAS? Online teaching, learning and assessment system. It is related to which of the following scheme? What is the scheme? New India Literacy Program, right? For adult education. So, system material and resources to digital mode. So, if you see here, where is this? Generally here, the government has presented her a laptop. She has learned the laptop. So, mode of education in, in this literacy program is to the digital mode. Mostly they will give this digital, then they will practice it by hand or something. But the mode of this through the what? Digital mode. Remember that point. Where is this? So, that is implementation implemented through volunteerism through online mode. These two points are important. Volunteerism plus online. The training orientation workshop of the volunteers may be organized through face to face mode. Digital resources, school will be the end of implementation. Next one, need for, what is the need here? As per the census 2011, the absolute number of non literates of the country in the 50 years above age group are how much? 25 crores male, 9 crores female, 16 crores. It is estimated that currently around how much? 18 crore adults are still now non literate. So, this is the reason why they are going to literate to reap this demographic dividend. So, what is this? India launches operation Ajay is for what? To bring home citizens from war zone. So, any idea earlier these kind of operations India has conducted, right? Ganga Kaveri. Operation Ganga is there, yeah. So, we do not know. Plims question code Rauchu. What are the operations? They will give that operations with this evacuation name or something, right? We just see about those things. Operation Ganga. It is for this Ukraine. Russia Ukraine crisis support this. Next one is Vande Bharat during the time of 
కోవిడ్ మనకి ఇంత పాయింట్ తెలిస్తే చాలు ఇంకా ఇదంతా అవసరం లేదు బట్ రిమెంబర్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఆపరేషన్ రాహత్ బై ఇండియన్ ఎయిర్ఫోర్స్ టు అవాక్యూ ఇండియన్స్ అండ్ ఫారెన్ నేషన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ ఎంఎన్ రాహత్ ఈస్ ఫర్ వర్డ్ ఎంఎన్ ఆపరేషన్ పోలో తెలుసా వాట్ ఈస్ నోట్ లెస్ హైదరాబాద్ విచ్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద న్యూస్ దట్ అట్ కార్ చేద్దాం అనుకున్న అవసరం లేదు అనిపించింది ఆపరేషన్ సంకత్ మోచాన్ టు అవాక్యూట్ ఇండియన్ నేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ సౌత్ సుడాన్ సంకత్ మోచన్ సౌత్ సుడాన్ రాహత్ ఎమన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఆపరేషన్ సుకూన్ ఎవాక్యుయేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ అండ్ ఫారెన్ నేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద లెబనన్ ఎప్పుడు ఎక్కడ ఇజ్రాయల్ లెబనన్ కాన్ఫ్లిక్ట్ జరుగుతున్నప్పుడు గాట్ ఇట్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఆపరేషన్ సేఫ్ హోమ్ కమింగ్ దిస్ ఆపరేషన్ వాస్ కనెక్టెడ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద గల్ఫ్ వార్ టు ఎవాక్యుయేట్ ఇండియన్ సిటిజన్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ కువైట్ అండ్ ఇయర్స్ కూడా అడగకపోవచ్చు బట్ మోస్ట్లీ కంట్రీస్ అడిగే ఛాన్సెస్ ఉంటాయి నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఆపరేషన్ క్యాక్టస్ ఫ్రమ్ వేర్ మాల్దీవ్ అక్కడ ఇంటర్నల్ కూప్ జరుగుతున్నప్పుడు ఇండియా హ్యాస్ హెల్ప్ ద ఆపరేషన్ పూమలై దిస్ ఆపరేషన్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ ద ఎవాక్యుయేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ సిటిజన్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీలంక ఆపరేషన్ గంగా ఇట్స్ పాతది పాత గంగా ఇది ఇట్స్ నాట్ న్యూ గంగా అదే మిలిటరీ కూప్ జరుగుతున్నప్పుడు దే హ్యావ్ ట్రైట్ బట్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎవాక్యుయేషన్ మిషన్ ఎందుకో పెట్టాను దాన్ని ఆపరేషన్ గంగా ది ఆపరేషన్ వార్ వాస్ క్యారీ టు అవాక్యుయేట్ ఇండియన్ సిటిజన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ లెబెన్ అండ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద లెబెనన్ వార్ సో ఆపరేషన్ క్యాక్టస్ అనేది ఆ ఇంటర్నల్ కూప్ జరుగుతున్నప్పుడు ఇండియా హ్యాస్ హెల్ప్ ఇట్ ఓకే సో రిమెంబర్ ఆపరేషన్ గంగా ఉక్రెయిన్ వందే భారత్ కోవిడ్ ఆపరేషన్ అజయ్ సో రాహత్ యమన్ సంకత్ మోచన్ సౌత్ సుడాన్ సుకూన్ లెబనన్ సేఫ్ హోమ్ కమింగ్ కువైట్ అండ్ ఇరాక్ పుమలై మాల్దీవ్ సారీ శ్రీలంక సో శ్రీలంక టు టేక్ ఓవర్ యాస్ ఇండియన్ ఓషన్ రిమ్ అసోసి ఎనీ ఐడియా ఇట్స్ అన్ ఇంటర్ గవర్నమెంటల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఇట్స్ ఎట్ ఇట్స్ అన్ విచ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ రిమెంబర్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఎనీ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆర్గనైజ్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ ఆర్గనైజ్ వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూనిట్ నో వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంటర్ గవర్నమెంటల్ ఆర్ నాన్ ఇంటర్ గవర్నమెంటల్ గవర్నమెంట్ గవర్నమెంట్స్ అవి ఫామ్ చేస్తున్నాయా లేకపోతే సమ్ అదర్ థింగ్స్ ఉన్నాయా ఫస్ట్ పాయింట్ నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ ఇన్ టు నో వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ థింగ్స్ వెన్ ఇట్ గాట్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ద ఇయర్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ నెక్స్ట్ హూ ఆర్ ద మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఈ హూ ఆర్ ద మెంబర్స్లో ఈజ్ ఇండియా మెంబరా కాదా అండ్ ఫోర్త్ ఏంటంటే వాట్ ఆర్ దేర్ యాక్టివిటీస్ అంటే వాళ్ళు ఎక్కడెక్కడ పనులు చేస్తారు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇండియన్ ఓషన్ రిమ్ అసోసియేషన్ ఉంది వాట్ ఆర్ దేర్ వర్క్స్ ఎక్కడెక్కడ ఏ ఏరియాస్లో వర్క్ చేస్తారు ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కోఆపరేషన్స్ ఉంటాయి కదా ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మిలిటరీనా ఎకనామీనా ఇన్ దోస్ డైమెన్షన్స్ రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఈస్ సమ్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ థింగ్స్ దే హ్యావ్ డన్ వెన్ యూఆర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్స్ ఇలానే ఉంటాయి మోస్ట్లీ ఇలానే చదవాలి అండ్ సిక్స్త్ ఇఫ్ దే పబ్లిష్ ఎనీ రిపోర్ట్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ పబ్లికేషన్స్ గాట్ ఇట్ సో కమింగ్ టు హియర్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ ఇన్ వెయిట్ వెన్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ సెవెన్ యాజ్ అన్ ఇంటర్ గవర్నమెంటల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఆఫ్ స్టేట్స్ ఆన్ ద రిమ్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఇండియన్ అసోసియేషన్ సో దిస్ ఇండియన్ ఓషన్ రిమ్ అసోసియేషన్ వాజ్ సజెస్టెడ్ బై హూమ్ ఎనీ ఐడియా హూ ఈస్ ద పర్సనాలిటీ హ్యాస్ సజెస్టెడ్ దిస్ టు ఫ్రేమ్ ఇండియన్ ఓషన్కి మీకు ఒక ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఉండాలి టు సపోర్ట్ బిట్వీన్ యూ అండ్ దానికి వన్ గాయ్ హ్యాస్ సజెస్టెడ్ ఇట్ వెరీ ఫేమస్ పర్సనాలిటీ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ సెవెన్ అనుకున్నాం ఈ టైంలో సజెస్ట్ చేసి ఉంటారు కదా నాట్ ఇండియన్ ఆఫ్రికన్ వెరీ ఈజీ నెల్సన్ నెల్సన్ మండేలా హ్యాస్ సజెస్టెడ్ ఇట్ మన ఇండియన్ ఓషన్ బార్డరింగ్కి ఒకటి ఉండాలి ఒకటి ఉంటే బాగుంటుంది యూ కెన్ వర్క్ ఓవర్ ఇట్ అనే దానికి దే హ్యావ్ సో అందుకే నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ సెవెన్లో దే హ్యావ్ స్టార్టెడ్ దిస్ ఇంటర్ గవర్నమెంట్ రిమెంబర్ అంటే తెలియదు ఈ మధ్య ఒక నేమ్స్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్లో కూడా ఫిలిమ్స్లో క్వశ్చన్ అడుగుతున్నారు ఓకేనా హూ హ్యావ్ సజెస్టెడ్ దిస్ ఇన్ కూడా అంత డీప్లీ లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో ఒక హెచ్ఎన్ సానియల్ కమిటీ 
it has recording with what uh, contempt of court so alaga names kuda ostunnai earlier our names trend ledu image names kuda teeskoni ostunnaru as an intergovernmental organization prim of association i or has a member state from africa west asia south asia southeast asia and the oceania sir intergovernment aimed at strengthening what regional cooperation and sustainable development within the indian ocean region how many are the members very very important very important how many 23 members and 11 dialogue partners secretary it were mauritius so the points you need to remember is present who has taken the chairmanship sri lanka the first point second point is nelson mandela third point is 1997 fourth point is these are the area fifth point is 23 member secretary it is where mauritius where is the secretary of g20 Hmm? No secretary. What to bet? Go. And all other people are not. They do secretary name which is that. Next one, I O R A is a regional forum. Very very important. Try. Any other example you have? You know about tri party? Tri party and three parties involve enter. Any other organization you know this tri party or no organization or idea? Hmm? international labor organization it's a tripartite organization got it then labor untaru government untadi workers untaru civil society or this entrepreneurs three tripartite agreement tripartite uh, organization same thing here so in nature bringing together whom representatives of government business and academia for promoting cooperation closer integration among them so these are the areas of cooperation very very important maritime safety and security trade and investment fisheries management disaster risk management tourism and cultural exchange academic science and technological cooperation blue economy women's economic empowerment so in this dimension nuclear technology unda da ha sharing of nuclear technology focus areas ani ichesi vaalu ila ila kaakunda oka 1 2 3 4 8 unnai kada ikkada so if they give something else nuclear technology and ala ivach anamata but be aware of this this is in the news anni gurtu pettukonna nenu cheppatle this e news lo undi kabatti high chances you will get in the exam so next one same thing so these are some of their uh, initiatives indian ocean dialogue idi evardi who's it belongs to whom Indian Ocean Rim Association I O R A So ikka em adutadu ante Indian Ocean Dialogue it is a part of East Asia Summit antadu is it correct no right so ila adugutaru anamata gurtu pettukonde Somalia and ML ML development idu adakapovachu idu adakapovachu nothing much adigithe idu okate adugutadu to confuse you that's it uh, so idoka 5 minutes lo cheppestanu it's nothing much here there is an intermediary guidelines it technology if you say here information technology intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics code rules 2021 what are these these are what these are just rules amended by central government when 2023 the amendments address a aspect such as definition of online game and online gaming intermediary and also include provisions to 
prevent the dissemination of fake or false information about the central government business. E to E amendments lo two things ho chai. Oka tenty online gaming. Next one fake news about whom? Central government. Right. So ikkada ema inni ante. If you see this article concerns about government fact check unit. So for this to look after this what you can say fake or false information government has established an, uh, an unit called what fact check unit right. For example, if you see uh, any of the intermediary who are this intermediary Facebook, Twitter, Instagram these are all intermediaries right. Not a, I am not talking about this online gaming, I am not, I am just talking about the normal in, digital intermediaries, right. Generally, there is a um, provision called safe harbor provision. There is a provision called what? Aim provision in Peru? Safe harbor. Generally, do not think harbor and see ala anuko kandi. They will try it ala ne pedatadu points koda. But be aware of it. Safe harbor ante ante. There is an intermediary, right? For example, take Facebook or Instagram. If you post, you are a person, you are posting here, it is uh, this post religious sentiment ni elevate chase in the or something, it is something spreading about a fake news. So, based on this provision which was there in this IT act which help this intermediary to get in a secured place. Ante in a case is the video me the start gani video me the edu. Got it? So, provision is there. So, you could aim in the ante recently this fact check unit which in the other. This fact check unit is he the, the fact check unit is itself giving some of the details. These are the fake. These are the fakes. If you are unable to, means this intermediary is unable to remove such kind of fake news in those things, in those their uh, media or something. They have, they have, they don't uh, have this exception of the safe harbor. Ante. Ultimate Ninne try just the Ninne case local out and government chapter. Until you don't have this safety net. Other than the Japanese, you don't understand. For example, there is a fake news on the government. Government is telling this is the fake news. Right? Facebook or Instagram is there. So, one person is spreading this fake news which is related to this government, right. These Facebook or Instagram, they are aware of government has already declared this as a fake news. So, these organizations, they are not checking all those things. Until we publish this, what means action these court, remove chat of fast action lay the matter. Action check bottom, well, did it still grow out the other? So, Akkad Tapu, weed Kadu, Nimi, Nik earlier, Nik anti weed chase the weed me the onto the ever we could end Anicha Patle the order. They are talking about the central government businesses. Central government, someone in China use, for example, you can also say this is a political stunt. Then Martler Mental and Martler. So, these elections of Sanega next year. If you are going to talk anything in the social intermediate, obviously you will get charged with it, right? It is a political stunt only, but you should not talk all those things. But, I will tell you only fact check you and safe harbor and you will tell you just to talk about it. You will talk about it in the government. That is what I am going to say. You understood? What is the concept here? But there is also Another thing called safe harbor regime. Safe harbor, okay, safe harbor regime. It is it is linked with tax evasion. Two different things. 
ఇఫ్ సంథింగ్ కమ్స్ ఒక క్వశ్చన్ వచ్చినప్పుడు సేఫ్ హార్బర్ అనే దాని మీద వచ్చినప్పుడు ఆ రెండు ఆ ఇచ్చిన ఆప్షన్స్లో వెదర్ దే విల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ ట్యాక్స్ సెవేషన్ ఆర్ దే విల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ డిజిటల్ ఇంటర్మీడియరీ ఏదైనా అదర్ ఉంటుంది ఇదైనా ఉంటుంది రెండు అయితే ఉండవు గాట్ ఇట్ సో సేఫ్ హార్బర్ రెజీమ్ ఈజ్ దేర్ ఇట్ వాస్ ప్రపోజ్డ్ బై ఓఈసిడి ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఫర్ ఎకనామిక్ కోఆపరేషన్ అండ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద రౌండ్ ట్రిప్పింగ్ అని ఒకటి ఉంటుంది హర్డ్ రైట్ తెలీదా నథింగ్ మస్ట్ రౌండ్ ట్రిప్పింగ్ అంటే ఏం లేదు ఇక్కడ డబ్బులని తీసుకెళ్ళి పక్కన సేఫ్ హెవెన్లో మీరు పార్క్ చేస్తారు అక్కడ జీరో ట్యాక్స్ ఉంటుంది అగైన్ ఇట్ విల్ రిటర్న్ బ్యాక్ ఇన్ టు ఇట్ సో ఆ సేఫ్ హెవెన్స్ ఆ ట్యాక్స్ హెవేషన్ ఏదైతే జరుగుతుందో దట్ రెజీమ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ సేఫ్ హార్బర్ రెజీమ్ గోట్ ఇట్ క్వశ్చన్ అలాగే అడగచ్చు ఈ టూ డైమ్ టూ పేర్లు ఉంటాయి కదా కొన్ని కొన్ని సార్లు న్యూస్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు సో అలా అని అడగచ్చు ఇలా అని అడగచ్చు జస్ట్ బీ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ ఆన్లైన్ గేమింగ్ జస్ట్ నథింగ్ మచ్ హియర్ వాట్ దే హ్యావ్ టోల్డ్ ఇస్ ఆన్లైన్ గేమింగ్ ఒక ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఉంటుంది ఆ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఏం చేయాలి రూల్స్ పాస్ చేయాలి ఆ రూల్స్ దే షుడ్ అబైట్ అబైట్ టు ఇట్ అలా చెప్పి నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ టు ఫాలో అప్ సేమ్ డ్యూ డిలిజెన్స్ మెజర్స్ యాజ్ అదర్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్స్ అండర్ ద రూల్స్ సచ్ యాజ్ పబ్లిషింగ్ వాట్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ యూస్ వెన్ యూ డౌన్లోడ్ దిస్ పబ్జీ గేమ్ కూడా మీరు ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ డౌన్లోడింగ్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ ఇప్పుడు ప్రజెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ డౌన్లోడ్ ఎ న్యూ కొంచెం పెద్ద గేమ్ డౌన్లోడ్ చేసుకుంటే ఆబ్వియస్లీ యూల్ గెట్ దిస్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ యూస్ ప్రైవసీ పాలసీ గ్రివాన్స్ అడ్రసల్ మెకానిజ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ కమ్ ఆన్లైన్ గేమింగ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ రీసెంట్ ట్రెండ్ ఈస్ దేర్ రమ్మీ ఆన్లైన్ రమ్మీ యూ హ్యావ్ సీన్ బెట్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ డూ యూ నో బెట్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ డోంట్ యూ నో ఇప్పుడు స్టార్ట్ అయి ఉంటుంది వాట్ యూ కెన్ సే దిస్ క్రికెట్ సీజన్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది కదా బెట్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ ఇట్స్ హ్యూజ్ ఆ డ్రీమ్ లెవెన్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ ఆల్ దర్లీ ఇట్స్ బెట్ త్రీ సిక్స్టీ ఫైవ్ డ్రీమ్ లెవెన్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ బట్ ఆన్లైన్ థింగ్స్ ఆన్లైన్ అంతే కదా దాన్ని సో ఆన్లైన్ రమ్మీ రమ్మీ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో దేర్ రైట్ యూ హర్డ్ రైట్ సో ఆన్లైన్ గేమింగ్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్స్ హ్యావ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ అ సెల్ఫ్ రెగ్యులేటరీ బాడీ కన్సిస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ పబ్లిషర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్లైన్ గేమ్స్ విచ్ విల్ బి హెడెడ్ బై రిటైర్డ్ జడ్జ్ ఆర్ అన్ ఎమినెంట్ పర్సన్ నో పర్సన్ షెల్ పబ్లిష్ ఆర్ ట్రాన్స్మిట్ ఎనీ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఫాల్స్ దే ఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ దిస్ వాట్ యూ కెన్ సే దిస్ సేఫ్ సేఫ్ హార్బర్ థింగ్ రూల్ త్రీ వన్ బీబీ ఆఫ్ ద ఐటీ రూల్స్ దట్ పర్మిట్ ద కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ చెకింగ్ యూనిట్ which deals with the responsibility of this intermediaries they are now under the obligation to make reasonable efforts to ensure that users do not host display upload modify publish etc etc edaithe central government fake ani cheptadinda cheppana anthe ikkada em ledhu nothing much here failure to comply meer fail avukapothe em chestaru losing what this safe harbor protection you loss it nenu edaithe fake news ani cheppi nu dani control cheyakapothe you will lose that protection ultimately you will sue into the cases court all those things so issues what are the issues again the same thing the it amendment rules introduce a categorization of online real money game but leave the definition of wagering ambiguous leading to a flay what is what is this flawed model of self regulation so self regulation ante daniki vaalu chance icharu do you know self regulation means vaalaku vaale regulate cheskovali అది ఎంతవరకు కరెక్ట్ రాంగో దే డోంట్ నో సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ వాట్ రూల్ టూ వన్ క్యూసీ ప్రొవైడ్స్ ద ఎస్టాబ్లిష్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్లైన్ గేమింగ్ సెల్ఫ్ రెగ్యులేటరీ బాడీ సెల్ఫ్ రెగ్యులేషన్ దే హ్యావ్ గివెన్ అండ్ దే హ్యావ్ గివెన్ సెల్ఫ్ రెగ్యులేటరీ బాడీ టు దెమ్ బట్ ఇట్ వాస్ నాట్ అండర్ అన్ యాక్ట్ ద రెగ్యులేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్లైన్ గేమింగ్ ఎంటిటీస్ వీఆర్ ఐటీ రూల్స్ ఇష్యూడ్ బై ద ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ వితౌట్ పార్లమెంటరీ డిబేట్ డెలిబరేషన్ మే బీ అన్కాన్స్టిట్యూషనల్ అండ్ మిస్ గైడెడ్ FCU would enable the government censorship online and empower the government to be a very important ee fact check unit ela marindanta adhe prosecutor ga ayindi adhe judge ga ayindi ultimately em ayindi ee the truth ani decide cheyalsu kuda adhe ayipindi so overarching power this cheskundu ante kada who is that personality fact checking unit so nothing much here but gurtu bait calls ni article lo enti ante it rules online gamings next one safe harbor uh, things two safe harbor things another thing what we have discussed got in japan fact checking unit uh, this is the last article so again there is an issue here india has ranked what one out of 125 countries 
సో ఫోర్ ప్లేసెస్ ఇండియా స్లిప్ అయింది కిందకి పడిపోయింది ఇంకా బట్ అవర్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఈజ్ సేయింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద గ్లోబల్ హండెక్ రిపోర్ట్ ఈస్ అరోనస్ మాలిపీడే ఇంటెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇన్ లైన్ విత్ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ సో గవర్నమెంట్ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ సమ్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్స్ రిగార్డింగ్ ఇట్ రైట్ సో వాట్ ఆర్ దోస్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్స్ ఐ టెల్ యూ సో ర్యాంక్ ఇండియా అట్ వాట్ పొజిషన్ ట్రిపుల్ వన్ సో అర్లియర్ కంటే పొజిషన్ పెరిగిందా తగ్గిందా యూ నీ నో ఫస్ట్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ ప్లేసెస్ తగ్గింది ట్రిపుల్ వన్ అర్లియర్ సంథింగ్ ఇయర్ వన్ నాట్ సెవెన్ ఐ థింక్ సో ఇట్ గాట్ ఇన్ టు వన్ ట్రిపుల్ వన్ అంటే ఇంకా వర్సన్ అయిందని చెప్తుంది దిస్ గ్లోబల్ హండ్ హంగర్ ఇండెక్స్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ అకార్డింగ్ టు దిస్ రిపోర్ట్ ఇండియా హ్యాస్ ద హైయెస్ట్ చైల్డ్ వేస్టింగ్ రేట్ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ ఎట్ ఎయిటీన్ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ పర్సెంట్ రిఫ్లెక్టింగ్ ద వాట్ అక్యూట్ అండర్ న్యూట్రిషన్ విత్ ఎ స్కోర్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ వన్ పర్సెంట్ ఇన్ ద గ్లోబల్ హంగర్ ఇండెక్స్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఇండెక్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ జీరో టు హండ్రెడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్కోర్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ద రేట్ ఆఫ్ అండర్ నరిష్మెంట్ ఇండియా ఈ స్టూడెంట్ హౌ మచ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ వేస్టింగ్ ఈస్ హౌ మచ్ ఎయిటీన్ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ అండర్ నరిష్మెంట్ ఈస్ హౌ మచ్ సిక్స్టీన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ అండ్ అండర్ ఫైవ్ మొర్టాలిటీస్ హౌ మచ్ త్రీ పాయింట్ వన్ దే ఆల్సో రిపోర్ట్ సెట్ దట్ ప్రెలవెన్స్ ఆఫ్ అనీమియా ఇన్ ద ఉమెన్ ఏజ్ బిట్వీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ స్టూడెంట్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎయిట్ పాయింట్ యా దిస్ ఈస్ సమ్ హౌ ట్రూ దిస్ అనీమియా గాట్ ఇంక్రీజ్డ్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద ఎన్హెఎఫ్ఎస్ ఫైవ్ రిపోర్ట్ దర్ ఇస్ ఎ రిపోర్ట్ రీసెంట్ రిపోర్ట్ నేషనల్ హెల్త్ అండ్ ఫ్యామిలీ సర్వే రిపోర్ట్ అకార్డింగ్ టు దిస్ రిపోర్ట్ అనీమియా గాట్ ఇంక్రీజ్డ్ గాట్ ఇట్ so who publishes so uh, i'll tell you why india is saying it is erroneous so prior to this tell me who publishes this report ha huh? correct correct adi yes concern ha uh, concern wild wild and wild hunger life okay so based on the four divisions what are those స్టంటింగ్ వేస్టింగ్ మొరాలిటీ సో యూ నో ఇట్ రైట్ సో దో బేసిక్ థింగ్స్ సో ఐ టెల్ యూ లైక్ వై ఇండియా ఈస్ అగేన్స్ట్ ఇట్ సో పబ్లిష్ బై కన్సర్న్ వైల్డ్ లైఫ్ అండ్ ద వైల్డ్ హంగర్ లైఫ్ జిహెచ్ఎస్ అండ్ సివిఆర్టీ ఆఫ్ హంగర్ కంట్రీస్ నథింగ్ మచ్ కీ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అండర్ నొరిష్మెంట్ child stunting you know to know these two differences are very very important stunting and wasting stunting means what height for age height for height for what is the bracket here see here u 5 under 5 gurinche maatladutundi ee bracket anta right what bracket they are talking about under 5 so next one child wasting wasting indicator of what acute malnutrition it measures the percentage of children under the age of 5 who have low weight for height so wasting is for what hmm height for age enti stunting wasting ante wait for height yeah so indicate severe food shortage of child mortality u5 mortality so ikkada if you see these provisions deenni batte kada vaallu decide chesindi india em counter chestundante you are just countering u5 you are just countering whom counting whom under 5 ne count chesi you are deciding india is in a position of triple one but if you see the population strength there if you see the demographic dividend again the same thing 15 to 16 population ekku mandu unnaro leda so what about them your sample size is very flawed how can you take how can you determine that u5 okkalane teeskoni ela determine chestam anade first anni points tho ade negate chestundi for example stunting adu kuda u5 ve kada second one wasting u5 mortality u5 e3 index e3 main th- four unte e four lo three main aithe unte avanni under 5 me concentrate chestundi 
సో మిగిలిన పాపులేషన్ సో ఇట్స్ అ ఫ్లాడ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ దే ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ద అండర్ నొరిష్మెంట్ ఈ అండర్ నొరిష్మెంట్కి దే జస్ట్ టేక్ ఏ శాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ పీపుల్ హౌ మచ్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ పీపుల్ తీసుకొని ఇంతమంది అండర్ నొరిష్ అని చెప్పి డిస్టర్మెంట్ చేసేసారు సో అవర్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఈస్ కౌంటరింగ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ఫ్లాడ్ సో దానికి వాట్ గవర్నమెంట్ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ ఐ రిప్లై ఈస్ జస్ట్ గో చెక్ అవర్ పోషన్ ట్రాకర్ ఎనీ హర్డ్ పోషన్ ట్రాకర్ అనమాట ఐసీడిఎస్ యూనో ఐసీడిఎస్ ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ చైల్డ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ స్కీమ్ మిడ్ డే మీల్ స్కీమ్ ఇవన్నీ ఉంటాయి కదా సో దానికి వచ్చిన సబ్మిషన్ ఉంటాయి పిల్లలకి ఎంతైతే అందుతుందో న్యూట్రిషన్ లెవెల్స్ అందుతాయో ఆల్ గాట్ అప్ అప్డేటెడ్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ పోషన్ ట్రాకర్ యూ కెన్ గో సర్చ్ దట్ పోషన్ ట్రాకర్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ గెట్ దోస్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ సో దే హ్యావ్ సెట్ దట్ అవర్ స్కీమ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ గుడ్ దట్ స్కీమ్ ఈస్ వాట్ మిషన్ పోషన్ ఆర్ పోషన్ అభియాన్ got it this is a nothing much here but remember what you need to remember who publishes it india has increased or decreased so what are india's views what are india has what has india done in to sada to help this hunger so tell me some of the government examples so government thinks what are the government uh, initiatives which has tried to reduce this thing anemia mukt fine anemia mukt bharat ah pm poshan do you know this pm poshan what is this pm poshan earlier it is a mid day meal scheme now it got revamped into the pm poshan next one yeah recently i also seen they are putting eight eight dishes in mona kuda ithukar six untaya five untaya chusan eight dishes unnai mana paper lo pedda chesaru upma upma idli dosa pongal daily ha pedtar ikkada peddani they have money you need to know the things of practicality meer ardham cheskovalsindi ante hyderabad okkati chalu and if you go in the gachibowli all those areas you generally go that area right you have seen a financial district oka apartment ki enni illu untai if you see the like sky scraping towers unnai kada enni illu untai i tell you the example oka apartment ki for example it is an 18 story or 17 story building aithe enni untai oka floor ki if you take something around 6 to 7 8 untai స్కై రైజెస్కి సంథింగ్ ఎంత ఉంటాయి ఎన్ని ఉంటాయి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎయిట్ ఇంటూ సెవెంటీన్ లెక్కలు ఎవరు వస్తే చెప్పండి ఎవరికి రావా టేబుల్స్ రావా సంథింగ్ ఎవరు వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ వేసుకోండి దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫర్ ఎ సింగిల్ బ్లాక్ ఇన్ దట్ అపార్ట్మెంట్లో ఒక సిక్స్ బ్లాక్స్ సెవెన్ బ్లాక్స్ ఉంటాయి I am talking about the single venture. Aparna Homes, Aparna Maibuj, all those things are there, right? All. Example, you have to know. So, here, they are mostly they are mostly software people, right? They generate, at least a home generates how much? 3,000 rupees electricity per month, right? Generate, you don't have to do it. Minimum. Here, you have to pay this home. They are paying property tax to the government electricity bill is not again water bill on the water bill if you see that if you go in that area they are charging some six thousand seven thousand for a water bill water bill gate well and the see and all on to dress in the but see three thousand ikkada six thousand five hundred something you know in the average is three thousand and a day they are getting the property tax ఒక ఇంటి నుంచి ఇంటి వస్తుందంటే ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ హౌ మచ్ దే ఆర్ గెటింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్కమ్ రైట్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఆన్ ద టాప్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ దే ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ చార్జెస్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ రైట్ దే హ్యావ్ ఎ హ్యూజ్ అమౌంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో టు ద ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ టెల్ మీ వన్ ఏరియా 
which has the skyscrapers, which has that uh, all those things. No, right? Every month, government is taking debt or appu from central government or something to pay the salaries and pensions. Do you know that? Every month it's taking. No, a single month skip point I could every month this corners, but not in this case of this uh, Telangana government. It has become a rice ball of India. I don't know like how it has become, but it has become. You see that if they are showcasing like anything, it's a very great opportunity for them. So coming to here, Kishan uh, PM portion, all those you can write that example also. Tell me other things. ICDS, integrated child development, next one. First, National Food Security Act. What is this minimum support price? Hunger the gichi aga the Public distribution, everything, yeah. Next. Hmm? Mandrega, yeah. Midday meal scheme, 5 rupees bojnam, which you get in Hyderabad. Anybody tried it? Okay. So fine, etc, etc, etc. But remember, just go home, just make a notes. What are the initiatives done by the government to reduce this hunger? So, Pratsar, Nene, Jep, Nene, Else, Poth, Nere, Sare, Le, Kashpad, Ande. So that's it. This is the end of the class, right? Do you have any doubts? Just ask me, or else we just leave. We just have some safe journey to our homes today and tomorrow. Hmm? Anybody watch Big Boss? Ever showed a class law? Why? Nagar no sadhana. Do you know Palki Sharma? Anyone have an idea? Palki Sharma now on Telsa Miko. First portion of Telsa Miko. A news channel under the Huh? Other news, YouTube low new news channel, first post. Ah, no. so, international relations are cover the Lama, but very importantly international relations. She went to Israel, you know. Huh? <laughs> you are a follower, huh? <laughs> Obviously, I will see those videos. Al Jazeera is a paper, you heard? You are in a paper. Al Jazeera. A news channel, an English a newspaper. So, you can see some information. You can see some information. But who are opting for this PSA or optional? It's a very good paper. What, uh, you can get that information. Al Jazeera, bound to be. So, that's not optional. Palki Sharma Guru Chendu Japani no? Huh? Hmm? Are they in the Japan? Mika the real and tower? Naka the real in the Japan. So, Andi Udukon got killed in the other. Sir, one day I some e Madin Inguda and Chinapan Tawaga and Lirgani, a journalist Tiskun stands a conchum, daring step together. But in that situation, she is covering the news. She is not doing it. It's a very great thing. So, Nushrat, anybody heard? I don't know. Nushrat. Nushrat is a heroine. Just, she came recently from Israel to India. Israeli heroine, but Indian heroine. She is here. 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 So, he is working under the army, normal army. So, again, I am going to leave back to my country to fight for my nation. Hmm? He himself voluntarily in our nation. So, she has, he has put some report to the Ministry of External Affairs. Pampichabani. So, patriotism is It's a kind of. So, if you see, Jews has that kind of thing. So, ultimately, it is the end of the class.
రాపేద్దాం నైన్ అయింది సో జస్ట్ గో హోమ్ హ్యావ్ గుడ్